what's up, everyone? I'm here at Velvet with a friend, a Canadian house producer, legend in the making, Fred Everything. Bonsoir, Fred. Hello, Mathieu. Ça va? Oui. oui. Merci. What are you playing for us tonight? Anything special on the menu? Uh, you know, mix of old and new. Current. New releases? Um, yeah. Yeah, some new stuff from my label and from myself. Uh, okay. Yeah. What do you have set up for us tonight in the booth to play, Fred? Oh, I only uh, three CDJs 2000 Pioneer Mixer. Very standard, almost like, you know, back in the days you had two 1200s and a mixer. I don't like, you know, to bring too many like other things. So just that and uh, I'm using the CDJs uh, with the CD controllers. That's, uh, uh, so, yeah, uh, with the USB, sorry, yeah. yeah. Fred, tell us, uh, what is your favorite uh, tech device lately? Just simple question, or hard question for you. Well, tech device, you mean in the studio or in the clubs? Generally speaking, <laughs> hard question. No, I mean in the clubs, like I said, very just classic, you know. At home, uh, always new things, you know, I got the new, uh, the new Roland uh, drum machines, the TR8. Uh, I've got that in the studio. I'm always moving things around, yeah, new and old technologies, you know. Actually, Fred, you featured a cool video recently of uh, your synth lab at home. A crazy synthesizer collection that you've harvested during the years and creating, even creating one of the deepest sounds in the industry. Uh, where did it all start? Like, you bought your first synth in Quebec or...? Yeah, well, first of all, I have to say, I don't have, I know people who have, are way crazier. I, my, I think my collection is really under control. Pretty serious one. I, I mean, I, I, I'm okay, yeah, maybe I, you know, I like my equipment, but I, you know, I don't have like that much. And yeah, I started when I was like uh, very young. Uh, first job I had washing dishes, I bought my synthesizer in the 80s. I also really believe that you've always had your sound. Uh, do you actually feel this when you're spinning and producing? Do you feel this special sound you have? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to be honest, yeah, you know, like everyone has their sound, or yes. at least they should be. They should do so. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, uh, there's like some two things. Even when you want to get away from a certain sound, you always, you know, gravitate towards something because it's it's kind of yeah, it's in you. So it's, yours is so deep and soulful, I think. Yeah. And also, where do you pick your collaborators, you know? Mentioning that you've worked with hundreds of uh, musicians and singers oh, in your productions. Uh, well, whatever. let's say 101 or 95. I mean, where do you pick these people and how do you pick them? What vibe uh, makes it work for you? Well, it's either people that I've met that I know that I, you know, I have to have a personal connection. Even if sometimes it will be someone that I admire the work and I will reach out to them okay. and they decide to collaborate. Um, but it, I always have to have a personal connection. I can't work with someone who I don't get along with on a certain level. What are your plans maybe uh, for the future in this next coming year? Oh my god, well, always always the same. Keep pushing, you know. Um, Anyone coming up on uh, Lazy Days that we should know about? Yeah, there's a new um, Satoshi Tomi and Matthias Vogue release coming out uh, in two weeks. And I have more things coming up. I have I have a lot of, I always have like a lot of projects coming out and um, some, also some under different names and all that. Yes. Nice to hear about that. Once again, Fred, thanks a lot Thank for your time. Merci. Okay. Merci à Montréal. Bonsoir, Montréal. Bonsoir, Montréal.